Hello Wargamers and welcome back to Ultimate General Civil War with me Bubblebox as we move towards another of the minor battles in this campaign, a rendezvous. And I'll show you the units we're going to be taking into this battle. I've put them in second core again because we've got the supply. Career-wise, actually I've forgotten to spend my career. I'm going to still put it into reconnaissance just so that you guys can yes, keep an eye on what's going on on the battlefield a little bit better. Uh, we did have quite a lot of weapons and stuff in our armory and some decent uh, guys in the uh, barracks as well to use. So what I've done, I've got a second corps. We can take eight battalions into this battle and I've made them up into six full um, infantry battalions. Our 10 pounders, which are doing us so good, and our big uh, cavalry um, uh, cavalry melee units grant with the palmettos so that's going to be the army or the division or sorry yeah the army the corps that we're going to be taking into this particular battle now if we have a look at the battle it's rendezvous and if we just head over to the deploy screen real quick and we'll read about what it's all about first. A rebel force is moving to Hanover Court House, planning to attack our right. You will lead one division to deal with the threat. We are managed to we, we also managed to spare some detachments which have already been dispatched to join you. Because we need every man available for the assault on the rebel capital, we cannot afford to send more help. So it looks like it's kind of going to be we're going to meet the enemy. It looks like we might have some reinforcements coming from one direction now main force coming from another direction with the enemy coming from this direction where the red arrow is. So we're going to be taking two core again. We've got a nice 10 pounders in there. The enemy have got 6,700 soldiers. We have got 14,000 soldiers and 24 guns. So we should, we should, depending on the ground and the layout of the ground, we should have the advantage in this game, but we shall see. So a rumor from a Virginia civilian, Virginia civilian says that a rebel force of 17,000 is moving to Hanover Court House. Our scouts estimate the enemy's strength not to exceed 6,000, but it's still a cause for concern. That force force could move southwest and out outflank our right. So there's the capture point right there. You must advance and deal with that threat. Our main army needs to keep pressed the rebel keep pressing the rebels toward Richmond so you can have no more than one division. I think that's all we're gonna need to be honest. We've spared some detachments and they're on their way to join you. Okay we're gonna get a few maybe they'll come in at the start maybe they'll come in at reinforcements. Defend your position at this meeting point, after you merge your forces, you'll be able to proceed to Hanover Court House. Okay, so where's our units? We cannot afford extended losses before our attack on the rebel capital, so you must be cautious. Yeah, I'm definitely going to want to be uh, trying to uh, keep our force in one piece in this battle. So let's have a quick look at the victory conditions. Hold the meeting point, which is the central point, and lose less than 40% of your army. Well, I'm hoping certainly to do that and a draw, lose less than 40% of your army. So. Yeah, I'm not going to go suicidal here because we do need to build up our army for the big battles to come. Um, but we'll send up, let's send up the more rookie troops first, which is basically is Loomis at this stage. So we're going to send him towards the middle and we'll send Appler into the trees on the one side. We'll send Edwards into the trees on the other side. And Arnold can go kind of down the middle and reinforce whichever side he needs to. We've got our 10 pounders and a huge amount of supplies. So we shouldn't run out of guns, uh, ammo. And we've got Brewster, of course. So let's uh, start the battle and a quick pause just so we can get our units underway. And I might just break off some skirmishes here. So we'll break off some skirmishes from Loomis and from Edwards and from Appler as well so that we can move them into the trees nice and quickly and just walk out of the guys forward so they don't lose too much of their... Um, oh, did I not detach Appler? There we go, okay. And we'll move just Arnold through to the middle, as keep him as a 2000, and we'll move our guns towards the middle and we we'll be should be able to stop them whenever we need them, along with the supply that can go with the guns as well and Brewster can head for the middle as well so let's start so another smallish battle today and then we've got one more of the smallish battles before we take on the grand battle again but we need to be building our army up as we go along because uh yeah just because we need to try and get some vetted up ones as well if we can but they are extremely expensive which means we've got to kind of hold on to units and not let them die too much so let's get these 
Now if they're coming from here, they're kind of going to meet us around that river. So I'm not going to rush. Oh, in fact, we're spotted already. So let's get our skirmishers just to quickly engage. In fact, we'll keep them going through the trees. The Loomis needs to get up and start engaging. You need to get up into the trees as well. Arnold can move forward and engage these guys. And our guns will keep them moving forward. The apple going up on the left. So our skirmishers have actually engaged and caused them to slow themselves down a little bit. And in fact our other skirmishers can hit them from the side, from the flank. And we'll get our guns nice and close as Loomis can move up to the front as well. Now where's our reinforcements? Not here yet. So we can hassle from them from the side, so causing them to turn. Loomis is moving in and we're going to get our guns nice and close. In fact, we'll stop them just there so they can start opening up and doing some damage. And we'll just stop Arnold there. We'll have him in reserve, I think. We'll let Loomis do the damage just for now. We've got another brigade over the back. Only 847. These have only got 748. Um, I thought I had some cavalry, did I not? Maybe they'll be coming in with the reinforcements. I'm sure I put some cavalry in. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I didn't put the cavalry in, did I not? Oh, okay. Oh, no, I did. I did put the cavalry in. We must have some more coming as the reinforcements. But basically, the 28s are being sent back. And there's also, we've got some guys coming over here. Now, if I can hold these guys at the river, we'll get the skirmishers into position so that they have to cross the actual, so we can, we can surprise them at the river. That'll be the best. Oh, and there's some more coming over here. So we'll put him there. In fact, we'll just run him to make sure he gets in position and we'll put Arnold over there to reinforce. Now, Loomis, there's no need to really rush forward. So we're going to pull him back. There's no need to... Uh, no, not run. I want you to come... In fact, we'll put him in this in this, in the, in the in here because he gets some cover in there. We'll leave those there. We'll leave Edwards where he is at the moment. So this is what I wanted. I wanted to stop them coming across the river here, which is exactly what they're doing. Loomis is getting in position. Arnold's going to go and help out Appler over here. In fact, we'll send Brewster. Because the and Preston is keeping these guys pinned in the distance over there, the 16th. So there's quite a lot of units over here. Now, they haven't moved forward, the uh, 38th. And we've got more units, so I'm glad I'm bringing Arnold across because there's quite a lot of units appearing. In fact, I'm going to run him up there so that he can support Apple. Or Apple is going to get... Um, In fact, I might redirect my artillery to shoot over here. So Arnold needs to run and get into position as quickly as possible. We've got Brewster there, luckily. We should be able to deal with these. We've got a lot of units here. Okay. So Arnold now, with his 2,000 units, can engage the 18th and hold them at bay. Appler's maybe getting no, we'll send our skirmishers forward just to engage a little bit as well as Appler repositions himself a little bit. I don't want to bring Edwards across really, I want to keep him over there. I'm wondering if it's worth just sending the skirmishers up on this hill to see if they can see anything. But all the action's over here on the left hand side. I think we've got a pretty nice dug-in position here. I don't think they're going to be able to advance forward. They're actually in the river here, which is a really bad position to be in. These guys, the, the 38th are in cover, but these guys, the 22nd, are in the river, which is really bad for them, although I think the 18th are in cover as well. Let's make sure our cannon's firing where we want them to fire. We won't bother about the 16th for now, as we do hold all of the victory points at the moment, with 1 hour 46 to hold out. Oh, in fact, we're being flanked at the back. Edwards, come over. Run, let's reposition our cannons. Let's get Loomis turned. Shit, didn't expect that. Okay, let's bring our skirmishers back to cover as the 16th move forward. Yeah, a bunch of units have suddenly appeared over on this side, which was most unexpected. So I think we've got a, we've got a bit of cover here. Not really. Get our skirmishes back and okay. Oh, we've got some more skirmishes down here. Look, there's our guns. Okay, our guns need to open up. Probably, well, 
Yeah, I think on these guys. Well, in fact, maybe. Yeah, I think on these guys here. And our skirmishers are just going to come up and just protect our rear end there. How are we doing over on the left here? We should be doing okay with all these units. I think we are, yeah. So we'll just leave them battling away there. I don't need to do anything there. But, uh, we've got Edwards in position now. Skirmishers of the enemy over here being watched by our skirmishers. So I think we're still in an okay position. Now the reason I got the reconnaissance is so that you can see what's going on. You can see that the red at the top of the screen here is how many units the enemy has and the blue how many we've got and if you do hover over it you can actually see how many deaths have occurred so the enemy has at the moment got 6700 so pretty much 6000 so that's like one two oh we have we can't see all of their units as yet so we've got a few more to come now I'm wondering when our reinforcements are going to arrive we've got one hour 30 i'm assuming our reinforcements will arrive quite soon pounders doing a good job hopefully they'll be getting vetted up oh and here's another bunch of units appeared in this section over here the 28th so they're moving forward in fact it looks like they might be trying to take the trees maybe we'll move Loomis's skirmishers across into the trees here and we'll target them with the guns in fact I'm going to have to send Loomis to engage here I think and we're going to run him in fact, he's gonna—he might even catch them. Yeah, we'll just engage. He's caught them. We've caught them. We've caught them in the river. And if we can hit them with cannon fire as well, keep their skirmishers. If our skirmishers can just keep their skirmishers away. So yeah, they've been caught out in the open there, as you can see. We'll put Loomis's skirmishers over into the trees now, and we'll just withdraw Loomis back into this strong position here. Continuing to do the enemy plenty of damage on this side. Looks like we broke the 18th and we've also broken the 22nd as well. We're going to just hold position there though. We're not going to move forward just yet. Looks like our cavalry has arrived. I wondered where it was. So we'll just bring that into the middle of the forest for now. And we've got Foreman here. And we've got uh, Hescock. Okay, so we've got all our units on the field now. There's no real need to counterattack, to be honest, because... Um, what we want to do is hold on to our units and win the battle to get all the resources. So what we'll do, I think, we'll get Foreman over across here. I think there was a canister fire there that went into the skirmishers. And I might bring, relieve Loomis and send Loomis over into the trees here to check our flank here and put one of these big squads in the trees here. But there's no rush. Everything's under control. We're holding the centre. Certainly holding them on the left. And we are killing them. They're getting less. The ratio of their units to ours is quite decent at the moment. I don't know whether they're going to get a load of units suddenly. You know, they, get, they might suddenly get reinforced and then do a big attack at the end. It can happen. Now we're getting low on ammo over there, so we'll send out our logistics truck over to Appler to resupply him a little bit. It's actually rare for skirmishes to run out of ammo. Right, so we'll get Hescock to guard here. We'll get Loomis to go over there. We'll get Foreman to take the place of Loomis, and Loomis is going to go over into the trees over here. And we'll keep our cavalry in reserve. In fact, we'll put them in the middle. Just ammo is just arriving in time for uh, Appla. Or Appla skirmishes. Arnold doing really well. A huge 500 kills and 33 deaths. Appla not doing quite so well, but Arnold's been doing fantastic. Doing this. Oh. It might be worth actually. Yeah, their skirmishers. Yeah, let's get my cavalry out. I don't want my cavalry to die. So Hescock's in position. We're just going to break off some skirmishers from Hescock just so that he can get vision on what's going on over there. Right, Loomis has managed to get himself over here, so we're going to get him into a slightly more forward position. I don't want him to get into range of these guys though. I just want him to help out and maybe flank. A little bit here. 
foreman's getting into this defensive position into the compound. They are manoeuvring around, but we've got that area well covered. Okay, let's move Loomis forward, see if he can do a little bit of damage to the 18th. My wagon there, not worth going over after. Loomis's skirmishes, I think we'll reattach to make Loomis a little bit stronger. Right, we've got some units here trying to come around our flank, but they're not going to be doing anything, especially if they try and cross. They're right out in the open, very exposed. The 4th, 13th are falling back, because, I think, because of this artillery fire. Okay, Arnold decided to attack these guys. Not sure quite happened with Arnold there. Anyway, we'll put him on the edge of the trees. He's there now, anyway. So they're having to retreat back. They've retreated back. Now, unless the enemy get a huge number of reinforcements, I can't see them doing anything. Now, I'm tempted to bring my cavalry over and try to capture these... these uh, Logistics truck over here. Okay, they're coming forward again. Let's send Grant right across here. See if what he can spot. Arnold's going to be engaging all of these quite soon. Really? My cannons are exhausted from firing so much. I've lost one crew somewhere on the line. Okay, there's the truck. Let's just get as close to it as we can before we charge. Yeah, there's, there's no way through for these guys, I don't think. Let's charge Grant, see if we can destroy and perhaps capture some of their supplies. I imagine they'll surrender at some point. Okay, looks like these guys have had enough. They're off. Yep, we have managed to capture some supplies, so we're going to get them off the field. Hopefully they'll route off in a reasonable direction. And we need to get uh, Grant back into position. I'm going to keep my cavalry in one piece for the forthcoming engagements. So Arnold's has beaten them off again. Let's speed up this game a little bit. It's looking good. Oh! Hang on, careful, Grant. Don't get whacked in the rear side. Yeah, careful, Grant. Yeah, let's get him in the middle of the trees there. So it looks like a few units coming on. I'm happy that Loomis can deal with these 800 guys. I guess I could have pushed him forward to cover the river, all this river around here, but we'll leave him where he is for now. 37th trying to attack Arnold again, but he's going to fend them off with no problems at all. Got plenty of supply left. Let's move our supply across here to resupply Loomis and Arnold. Arnold's going to get attacked again. If they do charge, we've got Grant to counter charge. Slow it down a bit for the last minute. Loomis is engaging again. And that's it. I think we've won that battle. Nice and easy. We only lost 549 men to their 2,494. So a superb battle there. And if you've wondered, I'm playing this on the middle, not normal. Managed to capture a load of supplies, which is going to be excellent. And uh, a few Springfield 1855s. And by the way, half of my units did have Springfield M1855s in that battle. Which is another reason they did so good. Cool. Okay. 
So let's check out where we are. We've managed to capture a load of prisoners, which means we exchanged them for some guys. And our core, we didn't really take many much damage. Apple took a bit of damage. But the others, just seriously, they held up really well. And our guns are getting some good um, experience as well. So we'll leave it right there. Thank you all very much for watching. And we shall be moving on to secure the river in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.